All right. Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. That's our power, our power, our God. That's right. Um, you know, the true God of the heavens and the earth, man. The one and only, man. That's right. Okay. And uh, we want to give all praise. Uh, all, sorry. We want to give uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. That's right. Double honors and, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, who, which deserve praise. That's right. <laughs> you know, all well, man. That's right. You know? And uh, honor to the elect out there, man. Honor to your yeah. elect uh, brethren out there, man. And sisters, man, that, you know, are watching in the four corners of the earth. Um, yeah, me and a brother, Carl Bay here, we're reasoning, man. And uh, we're talking about um, the gathering, man, of the elect and the four corners uh, of the earth, man. Right. Okay. And uh, we're talking about how basically the the gathering of, of, of our people, of the elect, man, is like the building up of Jerusalem. Okay. And uh, we're going to start off with a scripture and then go into that, Lord willing, man. Fine. Right, this is um, Nehemiah chapter 4. I'm going to start from verse 1. But it came to pass that when Sanbalt heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbish which are burned? All right, now, can I, I'm going to go into that, Baba Kishar. Okay, because that goes into the fact that there's a scripture in Lamentations, man, where it says they, they, our enemies hiss at us, man, and they clap their hands and they hiss at us. That's right. And they, they basically mock us. In fact, let me get it real quick. They basically, these other nations, man, they mock us, man. This is Lamentation 2 and 15. It says, all that pass by clap their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head at the door of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call perfection of beauty? Mm -hmm. The joy of the whole earth? All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. All right, so all the enemies of Israel, man, all right, they basically... There's, there's nothing new under the sun, man. Even back in the time, in the past, man, that we're reading right now, in the time of Nehemiah, they were basically mocking us, man. They said, they said they mocked the Jews, man. All right? They, they, they've always looked down on us, man. They've always wanted to see us fall, man. And that's why they, they hiss and they wag their, 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 their tails at us, man. That's right, man. You know, they want to see, they, they wanted, they wanted see the destruction of Jerusalem, man. You know, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And these, these heathen, they keep taking, you know, throughout countless time, man, throughout the centuries, they've been taken out and destroying Jerusalem, man. You know, and destroying the people, man. Mm -hmm. The Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you know we're we're a destroyed people. We're 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 scattered all around the world, pursuing to the curses. We're, most of us don't know our identity. It's 2017, and there's there's Jake out there that don't know that they're Israelites, man. They, they, they don't know that they're the chosen people of God, man. Can okay. quick precept. Um, you finished it? Yeah, go. Cool. Psalm 83 and two. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people right. and have consulted against thy hidden ones, man. Trying to cut us off, man. And in the same way in Nehemiah, the same way that um, the heathens were basically uh, hissing and, and, and having, they had a problem with Nehemiah going back to build up Jerusalem, man. Okay? For him to start making that stand. Okay? Um. You know, yeah. And it goes through, and if you read Nehemiah, it's a good book. It goes into the different um, families that were basically, that were, and you know, their lineage who basically came up to build Jerusalem, man, to build up the walls, okay? okay? And in the same way, so the comparison that we're making is that in the same way that Jerusalem's walls are being built up in the time of Nehemiah, okay? Those, so, the same walls of Jerusalem are being built up again, that beautiful city. That's right. And we're getting hissed, and we're, we're, be, we're being encompassed around about by heathens, man, taking a piss, like in Wisdom uh, with Solomon 7, uh, how, you know, how could this, be, how could he be numbered among the, the children of God, I'm paraphrasing it. Maybe you can. Maybe you How is he it. numbered among the saints? Yeah, let me get it. Psalms. Wisdom of Solomon, there we go. Seven five and. Is. Five, it's five, isn't it? Five. That's right, yeah. Five, yeah. This is Wisdom of Solomon, five and. Yeah, four, five, seven, three. Yeah. Three. Five. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision mm. and a proverb of reproach. Can't. Hey, this was he who we had sometimes in, in, in derision, man. All right, because all these other nations, they basically look down on us, man. 
All right, they don't want to see us. Hey, man, they really and truly they they do want to see us in rulership because look, man, the scriptures say when the righteous are in rulership, the people rejoice. All right, but but when the wicked bear off rule, the people are in mourning, man, and we're all in captivity, man. It doesn't matter if you're a fuck, even if you're a fucking low class Edomite, you're in captivity, man. Your elites don't care about you, man. Yeah. All right. So how much more Israel, man, in, in whom the in whom the whole the rest of the world, all the seventeen different other nations, yep. other than Israel, they look down on us, man. You guys take crafty counsel against us, man. And and that's it's always been that way, man. You guys hate us, but you know what, man? The Lord chose us, man. All right. Well, how do you feel about that, man? We're His peculiar people, man. That's right. All right. Do you want me to jump back in Nehemiah? It says yeah. uh, from verse three. It says, "Now Tobiah, the Ammonite, was by him, and he said, even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone walls. So that's mockery, man. All right, even a fox is gonna break down a stone. They're basically saying that we ain't shit. We're weak as fuck, mm -hmm. and even a fox can take us out, man. You Cause, know, because at that point Jerusalem was completely ransacked, man. It was destroyed. That's right. The, the gates were burnt. The walls were broken." So they're looking at it like, oh, these guys are going to actually be able to do something. They're going to be able to build it up again. What well, they think they're going to be able to make a stand, mm -hmm. you know? They, and these heathens, man, they don't, they can't see it, man. They can't really understand and perceive that a kingdom is being built up right now, man, in righteousness. That's right. The tabernacles of David, man, which Lord we're going to get into, man. That's right. Go on. In verse 4, it says, Hear, O our power, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee unto anger before the builders man all right and we're the builders man all right we're the builders we're back here today we're building up that wall again man all right there's nothing new under the sun man that's why look man we're in the year of death diligence and destruction hey man the the, the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few you know, that's why the Apostle Toha keeps talking about you lukewarm brothers, man. If you ain't, if you're standing at the camps with, you, with your hands in your pocket, man, you ain't putting a stone to that wall, man, and you're just going to get flung out into the, into the, into the tormentors, man. That's right. You man. know? I wanted to make a quick point. Kind of. Um, hey, Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone, man. That's right. Okay, and he said to Peter, he said he's going to build, he's going to build his church upon, upon Peter, man, because Peter goes back to the word Petro, which means rock, man. He's going to build his, his church upon this rock, man. Okay, and when you build when you build a building, you build you build the, the foundation on bedrock, okay, on the bedrock of the earth, man, and and that 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 building that's been built up, that Jerusalem, that wall, that that city that's been built up by men, that the brother's saying, it's gonna be ruled by it's gonna be ruled in righteousness under Yahusha and under King David, man. That's right. Okay, and we can get that. You know? Yeah, this is Amos nine and and uh, eleven, and in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Mm -hmm. And close. So, just, so the walls, the walls are broken, man. We're broken people, man. That's right. We didn't know our, we didn't know who we're, uh, you know, our our identity. We didn't know that we're Israelites, that we had laws, that we were special people onto the onto the Most High Power, man. Okay. But but what what, what happened, man? Through this through this word, we, what, what we're doing, we're we it's gonna go and say what we, what we do, man. Can't. It says, and I will close up the breaches thereof. Closing up the breaches, man. Closing up the gaps, man. That's right. Okay. Closing up the broken walls, man. Making it tighter, bringing the foundation closer together, man, That's so right. that we, so that we become an impenetrable, impenetrable wall, man, through Yahweh Hashem Shai. and that's why the scriptures say in Proverbs, man, um, the Lord's name is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, man. I just just the way that you got towers upon the walls, man, where the watchmen stand, you know. Okay. You know and it says, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Oh, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> so like I just wanted to say this, yeah. Okay. Um, because I just thought of it just now, man. See, this that's what we're doing, GMS, man. Because, you know, through the spirit and power, Yahabal Shemi Shai, man, we've got the oil, man. Okay? Um, hey, man, the tower, you have... What do you have in the tower? You have a watchman, watchman. and you have, you have archers, right? That's right. Because, you know, that's a strategic point mm -hmm. when you're shooting down from the wall. Okay? And what is the weapons of the Lord's indignation, man? That's Those right. ICBM missiles, which are arrows, man. They're modern-day um, arrows and swords. That's right. Okay? Flying swords. So... When it, when it says the righteous run into a tower, man, the most high, man, is raining down, is going to rain down those, he's going to fight for us and he's going to rain down those arrows, man. Because the Lord is a man of war, man. Oh, man, I go, oh, shit. Yeah, yo, spirit, yo, man. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, yo. I got Zechariah 12 and 8. And eight. Right, this, hey, this is a beautiful preset. It says, and in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Ooh. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. That's right. And <laughs> and the house of David shall be as power. 
and as the angel of the Lord before them. Amen. Oh man. Go into that, bro. Come on, hey man. That's what the Lord's talking about. Hey man, the name of the, that's why look, man. We got we got the name of the Lord, man. That's something that we didn't have back in the day, man. Now you know, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, we've got it back now, man. We know that we know where we come from, man, and we know where we're headed, man. Lord willing towards salvation, but how are we going to do that by calling on the name of the Lord? That's why when the brother said the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous one of into it and is safe. There's watchtowers, hey man, them angels, man, Yahweh Shai, man, them angels, they got them arrows, man. They got, hey man, it's not just the missiles. You got them fucking them chariots, man. They got them laser beams, man. That's right. You know, so we're going to run towards the tower, man. The name of the Lord, we're going to call upon a name. And the Lord said that he was going to defend us, man. And that the feeble were going to be among them as David. Because why? We're going to get spiritual powers in that time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the spirit. We were talking about spiritual powers just a minute ago. That's and it right. says, verse 9, And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. So all you fucking heathen nations, man, you dirty, stinking foot Arabs and Elamites, all right, you nasty fucking Hamites, man, you fly swatters. All right, the most high, he's going to fucking jack you up, man. Mainly you fucking Edomites, man. Yeah, that's right, man. You fucking Edomites. You're going into, you're going into captivity, man. Into the so-called white man, you know. That's right. I'm just going to bug some of you viewers out, man, that ain't in the know. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Fuck right. you so-called white people, man. Yeah, you're the fucking devil that the scriptures talk about, man. That's right. And the devil, the word devil goes back to deceiver, man. Okay, because you all you do is lie, man. Your whole establishment is built upon lies, man. Mm -hmm. You're a weak sperm. You're, you ain't nothing, man. And when it, hey, Israel's going to come back into rulership under David, man, that, that's why the, the tabernacles of David are being built up. Jerusalem's going to come back, man, and all the heathen round about are going to be are going to be sore afraid, man. That's right. That's right. This is Psalms 50 and 18. Do good in thy pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. Hey, right, man, at the end of the day, the walls of Jerusalem are being rebuilt, man. And that's why you look, man, you nations, man, you don't seem to understand that there's nothing that you can do to upset the prophecies, man. The Lord said that his word weren't going to go out void, man. All right, so by hey, the, the, the breaches are being closed up, man. You're seeing camps, hey, the, 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 the Israelite foreigners, they're coming in, man, scattered abroad, man. That's right. The Lord said that that was going to happen. And this word's going to be preached. In fact, let me get it real quick in Matthew, man. Because this word, hey, this word is, you're seeing evidence of this word being preached. This is Matthew 24 um, and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then and then shall the end come. So the end is going to come, man. All right. There ain't nothing that you can do to upset the prophecies that the Lord actually set out, man. All right. The Lord said that all that devoured thee shall be devoured, man. And as, as we're reading Nehemiah, man, you devoured us back then, man. You was making mockery of us, man. You was hissing. You was clapping your hands. All right. You was mocking the fact, hey, oh, fox can go and destroy them. Man, you, you, you reveled in that shit. So do you know what the Lord said? Hey, the Lord ain't forgetting about that, man. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye. And while you guys were mocking, we were working, man. That's right, Putting man. Putting in the labor, man. Diligence, you know. All right, could you read um, Psalms 51 and 18 again, Bob? Sure. Can't. Psalms 51 and 18. It says, do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. And what's Zion, man? Zion is a monument and talking about Israel, man. That's right. Israel as a whole. And then it's going to go and say. Can't. It says, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Okay, and Jerusalem representing the elect, man. And how, how is Israel going to come? How is Israel going to be, be saved? Okay, all of Israel. Through, it's going to be through the elect, man, in the reincarnation. When they come back as our children in the reincarnation, man. Okay, so we are the wall. Jerusalem, we're the vanguard. We're the defenders, yeah, of the realm of Israel, man. Okay, right. the people are in the city. And they're looking up at us, man. We're, we're, we're defending Israel, man. And they don't even know. They don't even know, man. We're out there building the walls, man. We're out there replanting, replanting, and 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 bringing back Jerusalem, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord does everything in order, so he's of, clearly he's going to get his elect to do that first, man. Can't. And that was a psalm of King David, man. You know, so that just shows that he was a prophet as well, man. He was prophesying the wall being rebuilt, man. And the tabernacles, hey, of David are coming, hey, man. They're coming together, man. You know, the the tabernacle of David is being raised up, man. All right, the wall is being rebuilt today. There's nothing that you even can do about it. All right, but we've been hey, look, man. The scriptures, we, the scriptures talk about going out and telling telling them nations that they're going into slavery, man. That's right. And that's what we do. We go out there. We tell you going into slavery. There's nothing you can do about it, man. All right, you, you you're going to be destroyed, man. You can't, know. Can't. Back in there, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can't, can't. Uh, it says. Yeah. All right. Verse six. It says. Back in Nehemiah, verse four, uh, chapter 4, verse 6. So we built the wall, 
and all the wall was We're going to build that wall. That's right. That's the spirit. <laughs> that's the spirit, man. Because Trump, hey, Trump's in the spirit of, of building that wall to keep the Mexicans out, man. All right? Which you Israelites, man. You, hey, man. Issachar, yeah, you, man. Is, you Issacharites, man. You know, my higher, man. He is higher. That's what Issachar means, man. All right? And at the end of the day, man, hey, you you people are the chosen... Hey, you're, the, you're part of the chosen people of the Lord, man. But you don't seem to understand that if you don't repent, man, then you're going to be destroyed just like the other nations, man. And these Issachrites are hard labourers, man. They work like like ridiculous jobs, man. They, you know, you got a running gag about, it, about that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, hey, 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 and Trump's trying to build this wall, man, to keep you Issachrites out, man. Okay? Trying to, trying to fuck up the flow, man. That's right. But, hey, that's good, man, because the ones that you... Amongst the tribe of um, Issachar, twelve thousand men, and the and the rest of the elect scattered men, you're gonna be saved, man. That's it. Here it is. We're preaching that the Babylon's gonna be destroyed. Modern day Babylon's gonna be destroyed, and no no creature, not no creatures gonna dwell there, but desert dwelling creatures. Mm -hmm. All right. No no one's gonna be able to dwell there, but desert dwelling creatures. And you guys are trying to get into America, man. Why the fuck are you trying to? I got an uncle that's over in America right now, man. All right. He was born over here. But he's gone over there to pursue a music career, man. Little does he know that he's gonna get destroyed, man. That's right. All right, if he doesn't repent, all right, if he don't repent, he's got, he's gonna be destroyed in that thermal nuclear destruction. He ain't getting salvation on them chariots, man. That's right. All right, and that goes for all you Issacharites that wanna go over there into America as well, man. If you wanna go in there, go in there, man. But if you ain't off the elect, you're fucked, man. You're through, man. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, Nehemiah, uh, chapter four, verse verse uh, six. So we built the wall. And the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. All right, so the people, the same way, hey, man, the same Israelites that had a mind to work back then are the same Israelites that have the mind to work today, man. We've got the mind to work, man. Lord willing, we keep that, that mind frame, man. All right, Lord willing, we stay Lord on, on fire, man, in this thing, and we constantly labor, man. Why? To enter into that rest, man. That's right. All right, if you want to build up a, a place in this kingdom, man, if you want to, you're trying to stack that bread, man, all right, hey, but what did Jehovah Shai said? Hey, man shall not live by bread alone. He said, he said, the, um, my meat is to do the will of my father. That's right, man. And to finish it. That's right. Finish the work, if man. You ain't you gonna, listen, if you ain't gonna be there to finish this wall, then you ain't gonna be able to partake in the fruits of that, man. Hey, if you don't work, you don't, you don't eat, man. All right, if you ain't working, you ain't eating. Why should a guy that just, hey, he's been standing there with his hands in his pocket, he ain't fucking working, he ain't laboring with the fellow Archim, he ain't heaving and hoeing. All right, he ain't pushing and prodding, man. All right, why should he get salvation, man? Everyone's got to do their bit, you know? man. This is a body, man. Apostle to Hardcore is the year of death, destruction, and diligence, man. Okay? Because death and destruction is coming. But if you don't want to be caught up in that, you better be fucking diligent, man. Okay, and we're going to keep pushing that out there, man. doesn't matter if every fucking video we make has to be about diligence, man. Okay, that's the time that we're in, man. Come. And diligence goes, goes, to, goes hand in hand with labor, man. You need to work, man. You need to put the work in, you know? That's right. Keep going up. Yeah, this is uh, verse... Verse 7, but it came to pass that when, this, when San, Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very rough, all right, and conspired all of them together to come up and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it, man. And fucking, we had a dirty ass Arab that came up to the camp last week, man. Talking about, hey man, who are you, man? You know, just scoffing, man. But at the end of the day, you guys hate us. When you see the tabernacle of David being risen, man, you fucking hate it, man. Because you're in that same spirit that you were in back then, man. It said, and the Arabians, man. I right, see so you fucking dirty ass Ishmaelites, man. All right, you, you, you flip flop wearing faggots, man. Yeah, man. You're going to get fucked up, man. And you know what the funny thing is? You don't like you don't like seeing the men up there, man. Real men, man. And you know what brothers say when brothers get together, man? They say, yo, man, I'm going to build with this brother, man. And that's what we're doing. We're building, man. And that's what to edify means, man. Comes from, I believe it's from the Latin edificio, which means to build, man. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're build, hey man, we're building that spiritual wall, man. That's you right. know, that's what we're doing. To hire the labourers, man. That's right, I, man. Uh, it's the scriptures say that. Um, uh, what's that in Matthew? Is it in Matthew? Um, labourers are. You know what that is? Uh, the harvest is plenty. The harvest is plenty. That's it. Let me yeah, get it real quick. Let me get yeah. it one sec. Oh, let me find that real quick. Yeah, man. Hey, man. We're, that, that's the whole point, man. Okay. The Lord's put out his men there and put the spirit on them to put this work in, man. Okay. The Lord's the Lord's put his men out there to the, the voice the voice of the Lord, man. To 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 prophesy the things that are about to come and put the work in, man. Okay. This thing's gonna happen through the spirit, through the word, man. That's right. Okay. Coming in the name of your house, man. 
Come on, it says, uh, yep. It says, Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest, man. All right, so at the end of the day, man, look, just backing off what the brother said, man, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few, man. They, there's guys out there that ain't putting in work, man. All right, so what, what kind of mindset are you supposed to be in, man? You're supposed to want to put this work in, man. Why? To, to, for, your, for your own salvation, man. The scripture says, seek your own salvation. So if you ain't working, man, even though you know that the laborers are few, then you ain't in the right mindset. You ain't in the spirit, man. That's right. The Lord said, hey, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. If you ain't in that mindset of trying to be a laborer, trying to put the work, trying to push the word out, man, if you don't want to labor, then you're a demon, man. All right? Because if you ain't laboring, then that means that you've got a certain level of comfortability in this place that we sigh and cry about, man. That's For right. all the abominations that are around us, man. you got faggots, transgenders. This place is fucked up, man. But you, you, here it is. You got the, you got the wisdom and the knowledge to understand that this place is full of shit and it's going to be destroyed. But then you, you know, you're standing there with your hands in your pocket, man, not trying to do any work, man. Right? That's the spirit of the Antichrist, man. How about that, man? This you're a our, fucking this demon, ain't man. Saying our rest, man. Saying our fucking rest, man. Let me get that. You got Micah, that? it's Micah, isn't it? Time, Micah time. two. Like the brother's saying, man, this ain't our fucking. This ain't time to lollygag around, man. Okay. The spirit, hey, the spirit. Hey, you look you at Trump, man. Trump's been in office what? Eight, nine days? He's, he's pulled off more executive orders than most presidents done in their tenure, man. The apostles were saying that in the live stream, man. Okay? Hey, Revelation 12 and 12 is, is coming in, man. Okay? This devil knowing he's got a short time. He's pushing this He's pushing this thing, man. So we got to push, man. That's right. 2016 was the year to push, man. Now we've got to take it up a level, man. We've got to take right. it up a level. Yeah, you, look, the apostles part of the order, two, two videos minimum a week, man. Okay? And you got to strive to be able to do that, man. And more. When the spirit hits you, man, you know, here and there, whenever you can, man. You know, us That's brothers right. included. That's right. You know? Right, this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. How are you going to rest with a half built, half built wall, man? The enemy's just going to come in there, man. That's not found. That's not a sure foundation. How are you going to, how are you going to, how are you going to leave your post? Yeah. How are you gonna leave your post and just and just go do something else? The scriptures say, uh, "No man putting putting his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom, man." That's right. You ain't listen. If you're building that wall, okay, and me and let's say we've got three brothers, me and this brother we're building a wall, and there's a third, there's a third, you know, so-called brother, and he and he just leaves his post and he don't he don't build, man. Then we're gonna fuck him, then, man. The Lord's right. gonna destroy him because right. he he let the enemy come through the gates, man. That says the scriptures say though the uh, the hands what does it say um, though they join hand in hand the wicked should not go unpunished man can't, can't. hey man if you're letting the enemy in man if you're not closing up the breaches if you're not doing your part then you're really on the side of the enemy man that's right you have your father the devil man yeah. you know can't, this is um, this is uh, Hebrews 13 and 14 for here we have no continuing city but we seek one to come yeah. alright so so this ain't our rest man all you guys that are trying to kick back and lay back, man, with your hot cocoa. You know, you sluggers that don't plow by reason of the cold, man. You guys that think this is a fucking joke. Like it's a fucking get down, you know, cookout. This ain't no joke, man. All right? The Lord is coming. Our king is coming back, man. All right? And he's coming back to wreak havoc, man. The scriptures say the, the slain of the Lord shall be many. So what side of the Lord? Hey, at the end of the day, Jacob's trouble is inevitable, man. So I'd rather be on the side of the Lord where I've got a I've got that strong tower defending me, man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be outside of that strong tower, man. That's right. I don't want to be outside on the other side of that wall, man. All right, when the missiles are with them there, out there in the wilderness. Man. That's right, bro. Out there with the rest of the heathen, man. Because who attacks the wall, man? The heathen do, man. <laughs> and and what, those ones that ain't in the wall, man. Those ones that ain't being protected, man. That ain't they ain't put their diligence in, man. Those and even of the elect, man. Those guys that don't come up to the guys who are building a wall. And and then give them you know give it a cup of water, or or give them a little bit of substance, mm -hmm. some food to keep going to keep building that wall, man. You know what I mean? Okay. Those are the inhabitants of the, inhabitants of the city, man. If you if, if you're outside of the city, then you're a heathen, man. Okay. And you know you, you and the, the Jake that ain't building, man. You're gonna be caught out there, man. You're gonna be caught out there with the heathen. That's right. This yeah. is um, Hebrews chapter four, verse eleven. Let us therefore labor to enter into that rest 
lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. All right, so really, the reason why you ain't laboring is because you don't believe, man. All right, so if you don't believe what Apostle Taha said, just go back in the fucking world, man. That's right. Who are you trying to kid? Because look, man, the Lord's going to beat you out anyway, man. You're just wasting your time. You might as well go on down to the club and shake your ass. Go pick up a twerking bitch like you really want to do, man. Deep down in your fucking dark soul, man. All right, go and be that dark demon that you always wanted to be, man. You know? But us, man, we ain't in darkness, man. That day ain't going to take us like a thief in the night because we ain't in darkness, man. We got the light. All right? The scripture said that we're the light of the world, man, and a city um, set on a hill, can, hill cannot be hid, man. And what's that city, man? That's talking about Jerusalem, man. That's right, which is being built back up, man. It can't be hid, man. It's signs coming to fruition, man. And the brothers that have been given the faith can see it, man. We Damn. can see it being built up, man. Damn. You got more on that, or? It just says, let labor to enter into that rest, man. All right, we've, we just read in Micah 2 and 10, hey, it's not our rest. Arise ye and depart, man. All right? Depart from what? Depart from this place, man. We gotta flee from this place, man, because if you're joined onto this place, this place is gonna destroy you, man. Alright? Like the brother said, hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. And I've got another precept, just one, I think one more in second Ezra's. Um Salakia. Yeah, this is it. Second Ezra's 14, that's a spirit, man. It says 14 and 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Mm. Put off now the weak nature. Mm. You guys are weak, man. All right, you guys that don't endure to the end, hey, man. The Lord said earnestly, contend for the faith, man, which means to fight. All right, you got to fight. You got to gird up your loins and fight for your crown, man. You got to get down for your crown, man. All right, if you don't put in the work, like I said, you don't work, you don't fucking eat, man. So fuck you, unbelieving niggas, man. All of the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. All right, it and, goes on to say, and it's, oh, and it's say building, a, building a wall, man. That takes that takes skill, man. That takes vision, okay? Building up, build, building up the walls of a city, man. That takes strength, okay? All the things that are needed to build up, build up this kingdom, man. In this word, man, to endure, okay? And ultimately, what is it, man? What you, you think? You think uh, Nehemiah just built that thing on his own, man? He was doing it through the grace of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. Hey. He was doing it through the mercies of the Lord, man. Okay. Hey. Hey. And that's the same thing. That's the same uh, attitude you got to have in this truth, man. You gotta constantly pray so that you can endure, so that you have the strength to to endure, so that you can that you have the faith to to, to see the vision of this thing being complete, to be, to enter into your rest, right. it, and and the, and that you increase in your wisdom to understand how to build, man, right. how to bring more laborers in, man. And it is a fight, man. You know we're in this flesh. You know what I mean? The Lord, hey, man, this ain't this thing ain't easy, man. At the end of the day, we got every day is a fight, man. All right, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's, right. That's why Micah said, hey, man, uh, de uh, hey, de arise ye and depart, man. Depart from what? Depart from what, man? Depart from Babylon, man. It's going to, because it's polluted. And it's going to, hey, it's going to destroy you with a sore destruction. This is back in 2nd Ezra 14 and 15. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. All right, so you got to rise and depart and flee from Babylon, man. That's right. And we're right? fleeing from, it says times, and we're fleeing from this age, man. Fleeing from this world, because we're not of this world, man. We're not from this age, man. We're, we're, we're looking for the age to come, man. Second Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that follow-up, man. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for, man. We're looking for what follows after that trumpet, man. That's right, Okay. Man. Um, you got that's any right. more than that? Nah, that's it. We'll go near, near mine. Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. Uh... Back in Nehemiah, what's it left on verse, verse eight, and conspired, uh, chapter four, verse eight. You get, you can jump down to the bit with the trumpet if you can find it. Um, every man had his sword in his hand. Ah, yeah, I got it. Mm. I got it. All right, so I'm gonna start from Nehemiah chapter four, verse. 17 they which build it on the wall and they which uh, and they that bear burdens those with those that laid it every one with his hands wrought the work and with the other hand held a weapon for the, hey that's that's beautiful man <laughs> hey this scripture the scriptures are described as being a two-edged sword man that's right you know so we're laboring and we got them we got them weapons of war baby and that's the that's this book right here man that's the bible man all right it's a two it's sharper than any two edged sword, man. That's right. Alright? So um and it says Everyone with his hands wrought the work, 
and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, every one had his sword girded by his side, That's right. and so builded. And he that sounded a trumpet was by me. And I said to the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, the work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall. Hey, man. Just like the hey, brother was saying earlier, man, when we were reasoning on it, on, on it, man. Just like the camps are separated around the four corners of the earth, man. And there's camps growing continually. One man camps, 10 man camps, 20 man camps. Okay? Oh. Hey, man. And we're, we're separated along the wall, man. But we're all building, man. We're all building Jerusalem, man. Oh. Going and on? it said the work is great and large, man. So there's work to do, baby. It's great, man. You got to put in that work, man. You know, the work is great and large. And we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place? Hey, that's indicative of how, how far spread across the world we are, man. Israel scattered among all these other nations, man. That's right. But nevertheless, through the unicorn, through the Urim and the Thurim, they, hey, the, the apostles ain't got a jet set to go and gather nobody, man. They put it up on the, on the YouTube, man, and they're being raised up, man. The tabernacle's being raised up without them even fucking buying a plane ticket, man. That's right. You know, you carnal motherfuckers that want a jet set. Verse 20, it says, In what in what place thereof, therefore ye hear the sound of the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us, and our power shall fight for us. And who's coming, at the, who's coming in between the sixth and seventh trumpet, man? Who's coming when that trumpet sounds, man? Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. Right. He's coming back to he's coming back to destroy these heathen nations, break them break them as a as a, a vessel, man. Okay, he's gonna he's coming to break them with a rod of iron, man. Okay, and he's gonna gather his elect, and we're gonna do it with him, man. Lord willing, man. Come on, verse twenty one. So we laboured in the work, and half of them held spears from the rising of the morning until the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time. Uh, said I unto the people, let everyone with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, and in the night they may be a guard unto us, and labor on the day. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saying that every man have, saying that every one put them off for washing. All right, so at the end of the day, man, look, man, there's work to be done in this thing, man. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. All right, and the, the work is great and it's large, man. And if you don't, hey, look, man, if you don't get down for your crown, if you don't put that work in, you ain't eating, man. So at the end of the day, that's the main message of this thing. If you don't work, you don't eat, man. All right, you motherfuckers that are lukewarm, man. Apostle Taha done said it, man. You're going to get casted out, man. You know, and don't forget, man, you're going to get beaten with many stripes, man. That's right. All right, because you knew the truth, man. You should have known better, man. You went back into the world, man. Them seven other demons come and jump on your ass, man. You're through, man. That's you know? Right. So that, let that be the terror of the Lord, man. Through the terror of the Lord do we persuade men, man. That's the terror of the Lord right there, man. And the fear of the, 